Hey everybody, what is up? Great to see you. Brandon Dibsey here, worshipteentraining.com, and we are so glad that you are joining us today on our brown bag special here with Ryan Clare. We got Ryan right here ready to go, and he's uh, waiting for us. Good to see you today, Ryan. How are you? Hey, hey, Brandon. Thanks for having me, man. You bet, man. To uh, listen to Ryan, his heart, his album, his album is called Less Travel Road. I had the opportunity to meet Ryan back in uh, both, let's see, uh, Wisconsin and also chatted with him up in uh, Buffalo. Um, and just a fantastic deep worship leader. And uh, for a number of years, he's been leading worship, writing songs, uh, leading worship at his own local church. And now his own brand new debut album, Let's Travel Roads, just released on iTunes and also on um, his website, which you can find his website at ryanclairmusic.com. I want to get more into that a little bit later and how you can, uh, information on how you can download a free album or download, that is, just a free download song, album, whatever they, that they want to do when you subscribe to Ryan's website. And uh, just to kind of give you a little bit of an update as far as, you know, what, what we do here at worshipteentraining.com and why you're watching this. Well, we do these weekly shows just like this here at worshipteentraining.com. Every Tuesday, we do like a, a, wor a thing for worship leaders, singers, pastors, musicians, audio tech. And it's just a show that we explore the, the nature of, you know, leading worship, ministry. What does that mean for you, the people that you lead? And also, you can follow us on our podcast, and everything comes right back down to worshipteentraining.com, in which you can find our workshops, our mentoring, and what do we do? Well, we actually are a resource for worship leaders and worship teams just like yourself. So if you have a worship team in need uh, that you can take a Friday and Saturday, we spend it with you to conduct a workshop. If you are a worship leader or on a worship team, we have a mentoring program. And lastly, if you are someone that's on the go and you want to learn more about worship and study your craft, we have WTTU.co, which is our online on-demand membership site, which you can find our uh, countless fresh weekly articles, videos, webinars, you name it. And um, we're happy to talk more about that and share with you more later. Also, when you're checking out WTTU.co, you want to look at the events that we have coming up. Uh, this coming uh, tomorrow, in fact, we have Alex Avila because we're talking about drums. This is drum week, and even though today is not a drum show, Alex is going to be tomorrow sharing with us about the communication efforts and also what does it mean to be a worshiping drummer. And then followed up next week, we have Rich Kirkpatrick joining us for our webinar, a worship leader webinar, Wednesday at 12 p.m. Central. Um, and you can find all the events and the times and that I just mentioned at wttu.co slash events. So let's uh, get now to Ryan. Ryan has been eagerly waiting, so patient, and we have him here. So ladies and gentlemen, please introduce and welcome here, Ryan Clare. Ryan, how are you today, buddy? Well, grew Great. a cold here in Minnesota, but that's how things go. We're used to it. Yeah, now, and, <laughs> and that's uh, Baxter, is that right? Yeah, Baxter, Brainerd, Minnesota. We're about two hours north of uh, Minneapolis. That's awesome. Now, tell us about your church and what you do there. Yeah, I'm a, the full-time creative and worship arts pastor here at the Journey North in Baxter, Minnesota. We have two campuses, so I'm also the Central Services um, Director. So I pick songs for both campuses, um, and I oversee volunteers, tech booth, um, stage design, Anything and everything that has to do with uh, worship and creative arts, I'm in charge of that. So, okay, very cool. So, um, I want to I want us to get into your uh, your music and uh, to talk a little bit about your album. I'm, I'm noticing, of course, the old Bear Studio T-shirt. Can you tell us about <laughs> that and uh, the yeah. up there? Yeah, for sure. Um, I first heard of, uh, of Old Bear actually from uh, Weston Skaggs, he's a good friend of mine, also an Old Bear Records label mate of mine. I had him out for a show at our church. We do a number of concerts here locally and um, at our church. And so he came out, told me about his record, and uh, I was intrigued. And it was funny because I didn't pursue them. Chris actually pursued me after Weston had shared a, hmm. my song, I Want Jesus to Walk With Me, online on YouTube. And uh, Chris hit me up, asked about coming up to the studio in uh, 
Buffalo, New York, Batavia, New York. And uh, so we scheduled a date to come up and actually record I Want Jesus to Walk With Me, our first single. And that was in May of 2017. And man, once just just hanging out with those guys, I feel like they became brothers to me, um, just really good friends. But also the vibe in the studio, all the instruments there are like legit. Like wow. they, they go and they find the real stuff. It's none of this like digital plugins, which is cool. I mean, if that's what you're using, but I want to see an actual B3 or an upright bass. And, huh. and that's what we used. I mean, we use um, legit instruments. So that it was really cool to be able to be a part of a studio that has such creativeness and uh, um I don't have such a passion for, for great music. So. Awesome. Awesome. Well, um, if you don't mind, uh, while you're getting set up to play some songs for us, I'm just going to talk here a bit. Uh, guys, we, uh, we thank you for joining us on this Brown Bag Special. Now, we do these Brown Bag Specials about like every – now we're doing them once a month on a Wednesday. And we have some special guests coming up on the, on the calendar that's going to appear soon. Uh, I don't want to spill the beans of who we have coming yet. But trust me, you're really going to love who we have. So you can check all the events that we have at wttu.co slash events. And while you're there, uh, take a look at the dates and join us for one of our shows and our broadcasts. And I think Ryan's ready to go for us. So let's go ahead and go back to him now. Yeah, so this, uh, I thought I would start with the title track song, Less Traveled Road. Um, it's one of my favorites to play, really a setting like this where... Uh, you don't need the band, and uh, you could do it a little more stripped down. But uh, this song is called Less Travel Road. Awesome. Here it goes. Let's go. Let's travel to a home on this 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 let's travel to a home on this
a home on this last travel road. Fantastic, man. Awesome, Ryan. Thank Thanks you. so much, buddy. Appreciate it. So, can you tell us, uh, you know, what, tell us the story behind this title track? Yeah, let's travel the road. Um, it kind of, it's, it's one of those things where you first hear about the narrow gate. And it's one of those imageries that I've always had in my head, like, what does that look like? And as you begin to think about life and you actually imagine like a freeway or this, this tight knit little trail, um, you know, it's kind of my mind goes there. I think of this, this big wide open road. And then I think of this, this trail that's almost like a, uh, a deer path in Minnesota here. We see a lot of those, but, um, yeah, I just have this imagery of traveling along, and sometimes it's not easy. Sometimes it's just super beautiful. You know, we cross these streams, and we go through these valleys and mountains, and um, but then there's other times it's challenging. But we have that hope um, of a father preparing a place for us. We have that reminder of the light of Jesus and his smile. Uh, I just imagine him smiling as I stand before him mm. on the day that I reach that, that narrow gate uh, that enters heaven. And uh, so there's just so much imagery I think about when I wrote this song. It came very quick, and uh, it was in the middle of the night when I wrote it. And I uh, woke up in the morning, put chords to it, and boom, there it was. Uh, it just kind of came quick. But, um, yeah, I don't know if that really nails it down. but yeah. That's fantastic. Uh, can you tell us about like, you know, what's, what's the road been like for you? What's your journey as a yeah. believer? Um, you know, I started out as a kid raised in a family. It's, um, it's more like a heritage, if you will. Uh, you know, you're Christian because grandma was Christian yeah. and it took me a while to discover, um, that it's actually a personal relationship and that happened in my late teens um, after my grandmother actually died of a brain tumor. And, oh, wow. And so reality set in. I was the first person that I knew that had passed on to glory. And um, and so it was, a, as a kid, a reminder that we need to get ourselves right with God. I began to attend our youth group um, in my late teens and then into the, the, the college age study. And that really helped me understand uh, that I needed to have a personal relationship with Jesus myself and to learn more, grow with him. And so I got right into to leading worship, which I found as an accountability um, at 19 years old. Uh, I felt that being on the stage, um, there's so much accountability in that, that I didn't want to live a life that didn't look or um, that wasn't true to what I believed and what scripture said. So uh, starting in, at an early age, leading worship, that really helped me um, develop and grow in the Lord. So Awesome. And like the next song that you're going to take us into, what meaning does this have for you? Um, you know, I think I was do uh, the song Hope, and that actually ties in pretty well because it's a song that talks a lot about um, that transitional time. And for me, it was those early days of, of struggle, of habitual sin, um, and uh, that transformation of be giving my life to the Lord. And that moment, especially as a worship leader, um, I've had moments where I'm singing and I truly feel like I hear angels singing along with me. And, you know, I don't know what it is, but I just know that there's a celebration in heaven and we're worshiping among the heavens each time we're leading worship. So... Um, yeah, it's just a song of hope that's knowing once we've given our life to the Lord, just like Less Traveled Road, that we have a destination um, that we're going towards. Awesome. And yeah, so that's what this one's about. Awesome. Let's I'll do let it. it speak for itself. It's called Hope. All right. I was alone 
and loves to sin A beating heart with no light But I was found in the glory In the hope of Jesus Christ So um, as we, you know, learn more about your heart, uh, what, what, what does this, you know, when you sing your songs to people, I mean, you're singing about your testimony. So yeah. uh, what's that, what is that like for you, the stories that you hear when people hear your music or sing your music? Um, what, what's, what's something that you encourage them? Yeah, I mean... It's been amazing. Uh, I didn't really know the power behind um, my own personal songs, really, until I released this record. Um, so it kind of came as a shock a little bit because there's such great songs out there. And as a worship pastor, I'm always pulling from other artists. And uh, so I even found for a while that there wasn't even a reason to, to write. But after attending 10,000 Fathers, they encouraged me to write my own songs. And... Um, during that time, I like how you said testimony, because I feel like a lot of these songs truly are um, uh, my life. They're my testimony. They're what I've lived, and um, they're coming from a deep place. They're coming from my heart. Um, I have a few little quotes here from people that just as of this week came to me. Uh, one guy who actually his son had committed suicide, and he was just really trying to bear um, that time in his life, like asking God questions and feeling like it's not okay to grieve. But through this album, and he actually said the song of Brothers Battle, um, he says, I don't know quite why yet, but that song is a primer for my grieving. He says something about it breaks down the hardness of my heart and it makes me feel like I can be sad and be loved by God at the same time. I just felt like that was coming from a guy who lost his son, who's, who's grieving. And also he felt like he couldn't grieve, um, hmm. you know, or he couldn't be sad. Uh, but yet these songs brought that out in him and let him know that hmm. uh, the Lord loves him and is there and with him in his grieving. Um, 
another one came from a person who said, hey, Ryan, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for the help that you've done and for the amazing CD. It has helped us get through the day-to-day tremendously. And uh, God knows we need it at this time. This is a family who's going through just turmoil uh, with family relationships, struggles, um, just so much going on. I mean, all these things, when I hear them and they're written to me, I'm just like, man, I I didn't know they were this deeply personal to other people or they would speak to them in this way. And they are. God's using them, uh, using my testimony to, to really help people. So hmm. uh, last one, it says, I lost my mom at the end of the year. And your album has actually brought out the grief wow. in a good way. Wow. I love that. I said in a good way. Wow. So super encouraging uh, to hear stuff like that mm-hmm. from people. Absolutely. Can you take us through that track? Um, a brother's battle. Yeah. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. So a little backstory before I start. Yeah, please. Um, this, uh, this song is a song actually written about my brother who, um, had an addiction to heroin for about 10 years. Mm. And during that time to see my mother grieve, even myself, cause my brother was one of my best friends. Yeah. We were in bands growing up together and, uh, just, Super close, one of my best friends. And so moving to Minnesota, leaving him in California and to see him go down that that hill of just falling into um, the sin of, of drugs and uh, that lifestyle was really deeply hurting on our family. But um, we continue to pray, and I, I recognize that it's a spiritual battle. Right. Um, you know, that we need to keep praying for those who are going through this. And mm-hmm. um I feel like I can sing this song now because he did end up uh, finding recovery and awesome. he's been clean for two years now. Wow. And so um, it was comforting to be able to know that before I went to record this song. Mm-hmm. So there's, there's hope. And that's a, uh, this song's called brother's battle. With the rise of the sun, Time passes by, I stout in a still dark room. Sheltered by the sheep, then to the wall, the basement he calls home. Tempting of this world ain't her soul. He holds on as a father for the sake of his daughters, but the bitterness has swallowed him whole. And oh, I never felt so alone. Christ's brother knows no home. No, I never felt so alone. Grass a brother who knows no home. It's like scissors, stone, and rusted, cutting at his heart. He's given everything, so he's thought. But the fight is never over, it's not with flesh and blood. It's far beyond this world over us. shadow of death and no reason smoldering as the fire burns inside in the shelter of the darkness he hides and no the cries of his mother tears of a brother never know how much they love him all because there's a battle that rages all the joy it erases is the callous in scars on his heart and no I never felt so alone Christ's brother knows no home oh I never felt so alone Christ's brother knows no home 
It's like scissors stolen and rusty, cutting at his heart. He's given everything, so he's thought. But the fight is never over, it's not with flesh and blood. It's far beyond this world, over us. So I said a prayer for you. And oh my brother, it came true. Wow, man. That's a powerful, powerful song and testimony, Ryan. Um, I, reson I resonate with that, my brother, because uh, for me, um, I mean, I have, an I have an older brother, and our relationship now has come back together uh, through our own, I mean, very similar path, uh, what you just described. And wow. so I could see how that would hit home for a lot of people as well. Yeah, yeah. It was one of those songs, too, that I wasn't sure about even putting it on the record because it's obviously not uh, a worship song that you would, do in a church um but chris uh hoisington had encouraged me he said you know what i think you really have to put this on the record yeah he was and right. uh i'm glad he he did encourage me because uh like i showed you with those testimonies of people coming to me with mm -hmm. um just their life and how it spoke to them it's pretty encouraging very encouraging um well guys, before we uh we're gonna have one last song of um ryan and we're so glad that you guys have joined us today. Thanks so much. I just wanted to take the opportunity uh, before Ryan does his last song, just to let you know about how you can get a download from him. All you need to do is go to Ryan Clare. Uh, that's going to be his website. You're going to go to ryanclaremusic.com. And while you're there, you want to subscribe. Why? Because when you do, you can get a download of whatever that they're going to give you. And plus, you'll be having latest news and about events, more updates on his music. So you definitely don't want to miss out. Go to ryanclairmusic.com and sign up today. And uh, also, we want to uh, uh, give you a little bit more information about what's happening right here after this next song from Ryan. Yeah. Cool. This song is um, it's called Come to the Altar and Pray. It was written um, by myself. Uh, Anthony Hoisington and Chris Hoisington from Brothers McClurg. And um, it's another one of those songs that just says, come to the altar and uh, let's lift up our prayers. Um, I heard a really cool thing today, actually. Uh, it was during a Devo I gave for our, our morning staff meeting here at the church. And um, it talks about an uh, eagle and a snake. And when they're in a battle, the eagle lifts the snake up into the air um, because the, the snake has no ground. Uh, he's vulnerable. He's weak. And, um, mm. and the same goes for us is taking uh, our, t whatever our needs are, our battles into prayer, because, uh, when we're fighting our enemy in their comfort zone, we're going to lose every time. And so that's what this song is about is going to the altar and praying because when we're in God's area, uh, He's going to win every time yeah. when we're going to him and he's on our side. He's our strength. He's the one we rely on. Um, that's going to win the battle. And so this song is called Come to the Altar in Prayer. That you need the shelter you see. Come to the altar and pray. The soul may be willing, but the body is weak. Come to the altar and pray. Get stuff on the road when you're traveling alone. You just can't keep your head to the wheel. Peace if you need it, shelter if you seek it, or come to the altar and pray. If it's comfort you need, or compassion you see, come to the altar and pray. If you're out on your own, with nowhere to go, 
and on to the altar of prayer. A kiss to fall on the road when you're traveling alone. If you just can't keep your head to the wheel, there's no peace if you need it, shelter if you seek it, or come to the altar to pray. songs man just uh really speak from the heart and just uh they're they're real i mean that's just a it's a real living story that you're singing oh man thanks so much i'm really glad that you picked that up <laughs> <laughs> well, i didn't mean to put you on the spot i, I mean the, <laughs> the story was too good to let that go right thanks man yeah you bet so uh we uh, we say thank you for uh coming in here and watching Ryan, and we have more for you at WTTU.co, and if you look at our website, you can see all the events, you can see the membership that we offer, uh, everything from our articles to fresh weekly videos on top of 800 pieces of content. It's crazy, plus webinars and books and downloads. And we have a special right now, if you go sign up between now and March the 1st, you can save 25% off your membership. So we, we have the information up there for you within this video. If you look at the very bottom, you can find the links and uh, visit away. So Ryan, uh, we want to give him thanks for coming and sharing his heart and his music. Ryan, um, it, it's so great to have you today, bro, and just to, for you to take this time. Thanks again, man. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity. Just want to encourage you guys for sure to go check out Worship Team Training University. Take advantage of these resources because they're so good and so important. So thanks, guys. Thank you. And uh, guys, also, we have Ryan up on the website. So again, ryanclairmusic.com and subscribe today. Then you're going to get something in the inbox. So that's yeah. the... The whole excitement right there is that you got to wait for it. So we hope that you guys take advantage of it. And we're going to have Ryan back. We'll have Ryan back to do some more stuff. So, Ryan, again, brother, thanks so much for joining us today. My pleasure. Awesome. Guys, thank you. We'll join you back. See you back here on our next shows. Uh, tomorrow is going to be Alex Avila at 11 a.m. And then don't forget, next Tuesday right here, same place, at facebook.com slash worship team training. You'll see our Tuesday show. And also don't miss the follow-up uh, webinar with Rich Kirkpatrick and our other guests that we have next week. Uh, be sure to check out, again, ryanclairmusic.com. Thanks so much for joining us today. See you soon.